Hello techies, this is Miguelina Betty aka Catwoman from Tech Valor. and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to use Nightbot's custom commands to greet the chat while you're live. Now using this type of method can definitely stem off for different type of purposes but obviously you can use this and then go from there. Now if you need to learn how to set up Nightbot I have a tutorial, click on the link. I also have it in the description. I'll also have a link to Nightbot's website, specifically their form, and the thread that shows you how they came up with this command, how to use it, and you can go ahead and create an account and ask them questions and they'll help you out. All right, techies, stay tuned for the tutorial. Creating custom commands. I am in the Nightbot homepage, which is also known as the dashboard. On the top left hand side of the navigation bar, you will see the command tab. Click on the command tab and it'll open up and it'll show you custom or default. Choose custom. And here we can enter in our custom commands. On the right hand side of the page, there's a button that says add command. Click on that button and it'll open up another window where you can add the function. The first row says command. Keep in mind that it can only be one word. It can't be two words. Secondly, a lot of people use like an exclamation point and then the word kind of like right here where it has the example exclamation point YouTube. But I want the commands to happen naturally in conversations when Nightbot is greeting people. So what I'm going to put in this command line is just the word hi because usually people say hi. And keep in mind that when a person says hi, Nightbot is only going to say hi to them if the hi is in the beginning of the sentence or the command, quote unquote, the word is in the beginning of the sentence. I'll show examples where the word in the middle of the sentence and Nightbot has not responded. Also, Nightbot will say the command if the command is just one word as well. And then right here is going to be the message that you want Nightbot to say. Now we could always have Nightbot say, hi, welcome to the chat every time, but we don't want that. We want it to be random responses. So this is going to be the code that we're going to use. And I'm just going to make this a little wider so we can see what's going on here. And I will break down what it all means. So the first part of this command is dollar sign, open parentheses, user, close parentheses. This is going to be the name of the person that does the command. So for example, if me as Tech Valor says hi to Nightbot, the Nightbot is going to say Tech Valor and then the sentence. Just to make things grammatically correct, I put a comma after that and then a space and then the code. And what this code is, is going to be a sentence and it's going to be a group of sentences that is going to choose at random. And it's going to be grabbing it from this website right here called pastebin.com. And we're going to want the raw format of it and then whatever the URL distinguisher it is. Right now it's just X'd out because we don't know what that is. And then right here where it says split, it's going to know that the sentence finishes after the semicolon. So whatever you write after the semicolon, that creates a new sentence. So that's another sentence that it can choose from at random. Another thing that you will need to keep in mind when you write out the different types of sentences, and that is that YouTube only allows 200 characters in the message that it's going to write out. So just make sure that whatever you're going to write out is going to not only be enough space for the sentence, but also the username as well. On to the next section of creating a custom command is the user level. The user level says who can use this command. So right now it's automatically set as everyone, but if you click on it and open up the drop down menu, you'll see that there's different options that you can choose from. For example, owner, which would obviously be me, moderator, regular, people so it'll see like you know who's regular people that come into the chat and then channel members and I'm just gonna leave it at everyone because I want everyone to be able to be greeted by the Nightbot 
uh, the next one is the cooldown. And you can put this at five seconds all the way to 300 seconds. And what the cooldown does is after Night Boss says hi to someone, for example, with this command, it'll wait five seconds before it finds hi in the chat. And then Nightbot says hi to another person or even the same person. Five seconds, I think is good enough just because to keep that engagement. And I have a small YouTube channel. I don't have tons and tons of people in the chat. So I think five seconds is good for me. Now, the next one is alias. We're going to leave this one blank, but we are going to be using this later on. So stay tuned for that. And basically what this does is just calls upon another command without having to write the message over and over and over again. If that makes sense, you'll be able to tell later on. Okay, so I have all of this here done and I'm going to hit submit. Okay. Now, I don't want Nightbot to only greet people that say hi. I want them to greet people who says various forms of hi. So my awesome subscribers and chatters help me come up with a list of sayings that people say hi in different ways. And we'll start with adding another command and another way obviously is hello so i'm going to put the command there hello and again whenever anybody uses the word hello in the beginning of a sentence or just the word hello by itself nightbot will greet them i don't want to write the same command all over again because i'm going to be here all day this is where the alias is going to come in so i'm just going to bypass again the user level and the cooldown because i'm going to leave that the same and I want the alias to be hi. So whenever anybody says hello, Nightbot is going to then say, oh, okay, the word hello acts just like the word hi. So I'm going to use the same messaging structure. Now hit submit, done, okay? And now the commands are actually gonna be showing up in alphabetical order. That's why hello is above hi. So I'll go ahead and add another command. There is also hey. And again, I'll leave the message blank. Everyone cool down and the alias is going to be high. And then I'll just keep repeating the process for other types of greetings. All right, so here is the command morning. And I'll show you some examples about morning. For example, if somebody says good morning, Nightbot is not going to greet them. But if somebody says morning, everyone, Nightbot is going to greet them. Or obviously, if somebody just says the word morning, Nightbot is going to greet them. So just keep that in mind. And evening can be kind of used for not only greeting, but for saying goodbye, right? But I'm going to choose evening because people usually say good evening when they are greeting someone. And they usually say good night if they're signing off, if they're saying goodbye. Now, another word that we use in the chat a lot is, hey, what's up, right? So this will be the same command. Now there's three different ways to spell that word that I've noticed that our chat spells the word A. So I'm gonna put them in all the three different ways because I just, I want them to feel greeted. A funny thing about Nightbot is that it will greet people who are saying hi to others. I actually find that hilarious because it just confuses people. Here we have everything. And the next thing that I'm going to do is get the URL from where it's going to grab the sentences. Creating random sentences. I'll go ahead and create an account. I'll make my paste bin public so that you can use it as well. Don't forget to approve and verify your email once you get it, just so that when you move forward, there isn't gonna be any problems. All right, so I verified my email. I'll go ahead and create my first paste bin. On the top middle part of the page, you'll see a green button with a plus sign that says paste. I'll click on that button and it'll create a new paste. So I will copy and paste some sentences that I've already created before. And the reason why all of them start off with a lowercase is because remember, it'll have the person's username, comma, the sentence. So it just looks grammatically better that way. And then you can end it with an exclamation point or a period or anything like that. 
the semicolon is what's going to let Nightbot know that anything after that is a new sentence. And so currently, these are the sentences that it'll have to choose from and it will choose it at random. Uh, down here in the optional settings, I'll just keep the syntax highlighting at none, the pace expiration as never, so it'll never expire. I'm going to put this as public because that way Nightbot will be able to have access to it and you will also be able to have access to it. You do have the option of putting a password, but again, I want this to be public. And I'm going to title it as Nightbot Welcome. This doesn't do anything. This is just for me to know what this is for. And now I'm just going to create a new paste. All right, so this has been created. What I am going to need for Nightbot is going to be the raw version of it. So here in this paste bin, I'm going to choose this gray button in the middle that says raw. And I'm going to need the characters after the raw forward slash. So I'll copy that. I'll go back over to Nightbot. I'm going to click the yellow button here to edit the high command and I'm going to highlight the X's, remove them and then paste the URL. Click submit and then it's completed. Yay! Woohoo! Dun 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 dun. As the creator of this paste bin, I can add and subtract to this as my chat greets each other over time. Bonus command. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is one of my favorite commands, which is making sassy Nightbot. <laughs> the way I'm gonna do this is by, again, adding a command, and the command is gonna be at Nightbot. So this will be if anybody in the chat adds Nightbot, not if they just say Nightbot's name, no. If they do specifically the at symbol Nightbot, and then the message is going to be the same as the high message. So it's going to use the same type of code string, but it's going to have a different paste bin raw URL. So I'll just obviously keep the user levels, everyone, the cooldown is five seconds and the alias as nothing because the command is just only going to be based off of the night bot. Okay. And I'm going to submit and then I'm going to go to my paste bin and I'm going to go to the one that I created here, which was Nightbot Sass. <laughs> and it has some fun responses like, what do you want? Looks like somebody wants attention. Call me by my real name, Sir Snuggle Buns, or don't at me. <laughs> Stay out of my way and we won't have any problems. Just funny, like sassy responses, right? Trash. <laughs> So if anybody decides to add the Nightbot, <laughs> the Nightbot's going to say a sassy response. And people love it. They're like, they want to know what kind of sass Nightbot is going to give them. So this is going to be great. So again, I'm going to click on the button here that says raw. I'm going to copy the URL characters after raw forward slash whatever the, those characteristics are. Copy that. I'm going to click on the yellow button to edit it and I'm going to delete the X's in here and I'm going to put in the URL. So this is how you make custom commands for Nightbot to greet the chat when they come in. <laughs> I hope this tutorial worked for you. Please leave a like if it did. If it didn't work for you, leave a comment down below and I'll help you out and try to make it work. Also, share this tutorial with others who might need it. All right, techies, Catwoman out.